Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra. Today I'm feeling like a Weaponsmith run because why the hell not? We've got all of these unlocked which is lovely to see. Oh, we have the Nuke Launcher as this guy as well. My god, I've been looking for a character with the Nuke Launcher unlocked. This is our time. This is our time. Uh, I'm going to go Sans Crown um, and just go with the Nuke Launcher. I could, I could go with a big... Do you know what? Actually, <clears throat> stupid. Stupid. Obviously, we want the crown with the bigger explosions, just to see what it's like, because I think it could be hilariously insane. It's also got splinter on it. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, I know I have an over-tendency to stick with my starting weapon, but hold... Hold up a minute. Hold, hold, hold on to your hats, people, because there could be. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up. <laughs> I won't. I won't do it for too long. But this is a pretty. This is a pretty fun weapon to get here. I, uh, I quite like the idea of a quadruple shotgun, especially game, especially if you could be ever so joyous as to give us shotgun shoulders early. I would take it in a heartbeat. You know I would. Um, ah, damn you. But I will take Mood Swing. I think Mood Swing potentially could be very, very good here. I'm going to take out the vast majority of these ladders here with uh, with this weapon. What we got going on here? Grenade Strike Launcher. Oh, oh, with bigger explosions. That's, uh, it's got a little, a little bit of seasoning on it. A little bit of seasoning and spice. I like it. Yeah, no, no prizes for you, good sir. Um... Tail's End should technically fire more from the shotgun, right? It indeed seems to do exactly that. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm liking the speed at which we're killing stuff right now. But yeah, please, please give me shotgun shoulders with this thing before I get rid of it. I would like to see that happen. It would be oh so joyous. We got level 4 already, so there's a, there's, you're saying there's a chance. Unfortunately, we did not get so lucky. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go for the extra tier. I'm still sticking with this shotgun for now because it is doing a right good job and I feel like it would be silly to get rid right now. Really? That was an amazing dodge, Mr. Shark. But you live no longer. Excuse me, get out of my face, please. Thank you. Okay, time to, time to change. We got the box gun. Oh, wait, no, the box gun's not what I thought it was. I thought the box gun shot through walls. Okay, this is this is equally as good, if not maybe better. I like the box gun. The box gun is uh, taking me on a journey. Now, please, there it is. There it is, baby. The shotgun shoulders to make this thing into an ultimate weapon. Oh, wow. I um, didn't see that coming. I'm going to take this again because it's just funny. That was a bit of a shame, though, that. I'm going to need you to all chill for a minute while, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Quickly just work my way through all of this. A little bit of an awkward gun to use. I'll, I'll use this thing for now here. Ooh, this one's got a few, a few elements under the hood. I like it. I like it. What we're going to start with here. Um, probably plutonium hunger, right? It just makes the most sense, especially with a weapon that requires... So much distance and also potentially so much ammo. Game. That was... That was rude. This this nuke here decided to home back on me and it scared the bejeebus out of me. It scared the bejeebus out of me. It's pretty easy to hit yourself with a double-sized nuke explosion, nuke launcher. But that's... That's a problem that I'm just going to pretend I don't have to deal with, even though it is very, very much my problem. I, I forget that it follows your cursor. Dude, this is going to keep happening, and I realize some of you watching may find it incredibly frustrating. Not my problem. Look at that. Look at that. I can direct it with my mouse. That's amazing. I forget that that's, that's the way that works. You cannot have me yet. That is beautiful. Okay, we're doing a fine and dandy job here. Let's just keep on going. The nuke launcher is uh, still with us. Look 
Look at that. That's so good. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're too close to me. You don't want to make me do it. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, the problems of having a nuke launcher. The everyday relatable problems of having a nuke launcher. Everyone's been through it. You launch a nuke, but unfortunately for you, the nuke exploded in a bizarre turn of events. Ooh, this thing's kind of interesting. Splinter Mine Launcher, I like it. I am going to combine them and see what we get. We get the Heavy Shovel. Not exactly the best of the best for us right now. Um, I will go with Boiling Veins, I think, for the uh, the explosive weapons when we when we find them. Boiling Veins is good for many other reasons, too, to be honest. Ooh, the Heavy Shovel is uh, pretty heavy. Doesn't seem like the best of weapons for us right now. It's Actually, it's, it's got more range than I expected, actually. But it's a little tricky to use effectively with the fire rate. There's ways we could alleviate that, though. Grab explosive on this thing, because why not? That was unfortunate. Having explosive on this thing is slightly dangerous. We'll make it through. Okay. Shotgun shoulders again. I think we probably want to take Rhino skin under the circumstances here. Yeah, we're going to keep hitting ourselves with the explosion here, so I'm very glad I have boiling veins on, because otherwise this would definitely have killed me by now. Why am I finding so many level zero weapons? Oh, God. This is bad. But did boiling veins just save me from the explosions from that shot? I think it did, you know. Right, I'm going to need a better weapon than level zero to combine with, otherwise... I'm I'm not combining. Simple as. I guess we could slap Herming, but yeah, like literally everything's level zero. I'm not taking it if it's level zero. It's not what your boy wants. That hit me? Wow. Right. Tail's End is also really good for burst stuff. Second Stomach, I think, is going to be really good with our constantly lowered HP here. I'm pretty sure I'm immune to fire damage anyway, so I don't technically have to destroy those, but I do anyways. Dude, what is going on with the level 0 weapons here? This is so many level zeros in a row. It's egregious. Give me what I need. Um, impact wrists, I guess. You can't steal ammo from a man that uses melee. How could you be so stupid? Right. That's a level 1 weapon. Still not good enough. It's still not good enough. I will not mix breed with such impure trash. Only the purest of pure breed weapons here. I'm starting to sound a little, uh, little, little racist here. I'm going to backtrack my comments. They were about guns specifically. <laughs> Uh, okay, mini, that, that's good enough. That's good enough. Um, adrenaline fuel, thank you. We'll do that. We did get an explosive weapon, but not the sort of explosive weapon I was hoping for. In fact, one that's incredibly dangerous to us and we might die because of it. Gotta love it. This game's genius sometimes with the way it can screw you over. You just slow them down a lot when they get hit with it, though, which is pretty nice. Slows them down a significant amount, actually. I'm trying to ignore most things here and hope for the best. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that was very stupid of me. Okay, we go again. The heavy revolver this time, level 8. Level 8's not the best. There's heavy revolver with all of these modifiers on it, which I quite like. 
doing a, a pretty, pretty good job, I'd say. Come on, dude. Die already. Thank you. We got a scythe in here. And we got a fire line. I do like the fire line. Although I will say, getting only a level 8 after combining a level 8 and a level 5 feels, feels a little bit like a scam. But fire line is a, is a weapon I'd say is fairly above its class. I'd probably class this like a 10. Club ain't good enough. We good? We good? We good. Okay. Thrown bot I think we definitely need, clearly. We're not getting quite the upper echelon of beautiful things that I'm hoping for. I mean, this is doing an absolutely mighty fine job right now, so I can't complain too much. Sword gun. And we get ourselves a 10. There you go. Director Dragger. Director Dragger. Ooh, that looks interesting. Now, this would be a nice one to get shotgun shoulders with, I would say. Like it. I like it. Didn't go... Oh, we did go through the throwing vault. Good. I was hoping to. I'm going to keep bigger explosions on. It's fun. Just in case we do get an explosive weapon and can take advantage. How are you not dead? Wow. Where are you, little fella? That didn't kill you. This weapon is not performing as admirably as I would have hoped. There you go. Heavy screwdriver. We go again. Lightning striker. Ooh, interesting. Not how I thought this would work. It's like a three-round burst, heavily chained lightning strike. It's not the best, honestly. It's not doing us quite as properly as I would have hoped. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Where the hell's the last enemy at? There's like nowhere left. Okay. Apparently there's an entire area up here I missed. No, there's nothing here either. Hmm. Where haven't I been? Oh, hello. There's an area down here that I missed. Wow, a rather large area that I missed, actually. Goddamn. Now, this thing's clearly not not the best. I don't know how you class this as 11. I suppose it's a burst gun, so it gets effects by tail's end, and it's an energy weapon, so more energy damage. Plus, it gets affected by mood swing, and on top of that, it's fairly ammo efficient. I, like, I can see, I can see it, I can see it. It's just, like, situations like this, for example, it's dog shit. <laughs> we go again. In situations like that, it's just not great. Hello, maggot. Good stuff. Okay, we good? We are not good yet. Is there a maggot left? That there is. It's always a maggot. Wait, no. It's maggot plus something else. It's time to overkill. We are. <laughs> You've got to with a nuke launcher. Uh, plutonium hunger. Oh, boy, no. Boiling veins is just too much safety to pass up. As much as I love plutonium hunger. Not being able to kill myself with my nukes is... It's my it's my only goal in life. Being immune to nuclear explosions. Imagine how useful that would be in real life. I mean, to be fair, actually, on with the current state of the world, it wouldn't be completely... Like, it, it, would, it would have some use. Unfortunately, it might have some use. <laughs> Although, at the same time, would you really want to be immune? I feel like you'd be, like, kind of left pretty much alone. This this got this got sad pretty quick. Let's, uh, let's make it less sad by talking about how much I'm destroying things with this nuke launcher. I'm out of ammo! No! I can't work under these conditions! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay.
And then we got Bouncer Crossbow. This is our time to shine. And we get ourselves the Mini Plasma Rifle. Is that going to be good to us? We shall find out. Ooh. And uh, it's actually kind of crap. It's not as good as a nuke launcher, I'll tell you that for nothing. Tell you that for nothing. The nuke launcher is just a fun power to start with. I mean, it is very good, actually. This is doing a, a mighty fine job because it's got, like, AoE and stuff. And it kind of, like, has a wee bit of herming, in a way. Kind of, like, scares walls to find enemies. Ooh, a screwdriver, you say. Have we blown up the car by any chance? I don't think we have. We've not been exploding everything in our wake, so... Uh, there is an explosion there. Damn it, I think I exploded it. I think it was right here, and I don't remember. Unless it's down here where this little fella's chilling out. Nah, it's not really. That was some good... That was some good-ass timing right there. Sad times. Unless the car's on this floor, and I'm just mistaken. Maybe it is. I like the fact that even the car explosions there are bigger. Yeah, you want to stop being a stupid fool and hiding. See, now I'm just blowing up cars before I even see them, so... It does cause some problems, so if I do want to go there, and the car does exist. Which, so far, it doesn't look like it does, so... We got Fleck. Dude, this isn't quite the upper echelon of items I'm hoping for right now. The quadruple shotgun, it's back, baby. The quadruple shotgun is back. It's found its way back into my loving arms. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of ammo to fire per shot, but my god, does it feel good. It's, it's one of those weapons, though, where you really got to feel like you're making sure you're hitting as many enemies as you possibly can with each shot. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a waste of ammo. That's a lot of cars down there. Holy crap. Let me get ourselves the heavy toxic launcher. It's the same one as before. This game's rigged. I've had the, there's so many weapons. How do I get the same ones this many times? Um, I guess scarier face is pretty good here, but I'm not enthused by the weapon. I mean, I got through this area with this weapon last time, so I can surely do it again. I can surely do it again. The good thing is, I think. With a uh, mood swing, the toxic has been immediately set on fire and dispersing, which is obviously not good for a toxic build. Well, who the hell's building a toxic build? So let's not care about those people. Heavy assault rifle pistol. Heavy assault pistol, even, sorry. Seems reasonably good. On second thought, it didn't do a great deal of damage to those guys that I was hoping it would do. Yeah, one burst some with uh, with a bit of scary face action in the mix. We don't mind that. It's not gonna be the best for this boss though, I don't think. It's one of those bosses where like technically if you stand in the right spot you could just stand still for the entire fight and never get hit. There you go. We got there in the end. It's not the quickest fight I've ever seen. Don't look at my health right now. Um, throwing butt once again. Blood launcher. Blood launcher's pretty good. I don't know if the explosions in blood launcher are larger. Because they're not proper explosions, but they are... It, it is a, from a launcher. They do use explosive ammo. So I'd assume so. But they're not typical explosions. Super Lightning Crossbow. Now, that sounds like it could do some real damage. Yes. Now, if, if we're looking at lightning weapons of higher tier, I would say the other lightning weapon compared to this one. This one's just a touch better. I'm still going to rinse it for another one. Infinity Shotgun. 
just don't care about infinite ammo weapons. Like, they're just so uh, seemingly useless. Auto lightning crossbow. Went from super to auto. Is the auto better? I would imagine so. Seems pretty goddamn good. Um, probably trigger fingers for late game if we make it that far would be quite nice. Wouldn't mind it. I think having scarier face with a weapon like this helps a lot as well. The speed at which I can kill a little hunter is always my gauge of like how strong my run is. That was pretty quick. I have from my gun is, should I say, rather than my run. The actual mutes don't matter so much, as much as the gun does at least. Let's combine the two lightning crossbows and we get the Splasma Cannon, a tier 17, which is quite high. What on earth is that? Now that doesn't seem great considering the ammo cost, I'll be honest. Oh, dude. Yeah, you could. You, you, that was you did me dirty there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Bit of a weird run, bit of a quick one, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.